Lesson number 13. I'll teach you the rest of basic shogi tactics. Basic tactic number 4 is pin. Pin is similar to skewer. Your piece has two opponent's pieces piled up in his line of fire. However, this time you can't take the first piece because if you do, it's stringed and you'll lose material. But if this lance moves, you can take the bishop, right? So we say this piece is pinned. It's paralyzed. We have two ways to take advantage of a pin. The first is to attack the pinned piece. White has no way but to lose the lance. And the second is to take advantage of the pinned pieces being unable to do its job. I'll show an example. Now, this pawn looks like it's protecting the gold, right? But, yeah, it can't do its job when it's pinned. So you can take the gold for free. Another example. This silver is pinned, so... You can take the silver. How about this? You can attack the pinned bishop like this. Or this. So how about when the silver was here? Yeah, it's the same. But if the bishop was here, it doesn't work. See? How about this one? Yes, you can make the king by gold or the knight because the lance is pinned. Okay, now let's go to basic tactic number five, defender removal. You've already seen this example, but this time you can't drop the pawn here. So you can't use pin. In this case, you should try and remove the defender. We have two ways to remove the defender. First is to attack the defender. The bishop has to stay on this diagonal to defend the lance. Now it has to move out of the diagonal and lose the lance. If he saves the lance, he loses the bishop. And the second way is to simply eliminate the defender by capturing. In this example, the lance is defending the gold, right? So let's eliminate the lance by capturing. This exchange itself is not good for you, but now you can take this gold. So you win material. How about this? Yes, you eliminate the bishop, the defender, and take the silver. Okay, now I will give you some wrap-up exercise for lesson 11 through 13. Can you find a good move here? First, you make a discovery check. After king escapes, you can fork. What is the best move here? You want to simply take the silver?
Well, you should have more greed. Yeah, defender removal. You can win the piece for just a pawn. Your pieces are skewered. How do you save both? There are two ways. This and this. Which do you prefer? The right way is only one. The other is awful. Well, if you go this way, what happens? Defender removal. You'll lose a piece. So you must move this way. No defender removal here. See? Suppose this silver is advancing towards you. You see a good tactic here? You can use another version of defender removal here. First you drop a pawn. And again. Now he can't take it. So you'll win the silver. So this may be like the third way to remove a defender. To block the defender. Now, how about when the rook was here? In a previous example it was here, right? Can you remove the defender in the same way? Well, remember, you gave two pawns this time, right? So this time, white will attack your rook. And again. Now what? Yeah, he saves the silver while attacking your rook. Now the silver is almost saved, but your rook can't escape like this and still attack the silver. But now the silver is saved. Final exercise. You see a good move here? Yeah, the fork. But white can save both with the rook too. Now what can you do? Well, this rook is defending two goals at the same time. So two different tasks are given to only one piece, right? And you can say this rook is overweighted. Now, if one of your opponent's pieces is overweighted, you should pause for a moment to think. There must be a good move to take advantage of the situation. Have you found it? Yes, defender removal. If the rook takes it, you can take this gold. If it escapes, you can take this gold. If white saves this gold, he loses the rook, of course. How about this? Now you can drop a pawn on this file. But another gold is here. Well, a good move here is this. If the gold takes it, you can take this gold. If the rook takes it, you can take this gold. And if he saves this gold, you can take this gold. But what if white has a pawn in hand? 
Well, you can't take any of these goals. He can drop a pawn here. If you take it, White's Rook can take the pawn. If your Rook escapes, his Gold can take the pawn. Oh, and the previous example too. If white has a pawn in hand, he can play like this. Okay, that's all for today. Goodbye.